What's up guys? Today's video is going to be a beauty babble and I have a bunch of shimmery champagne-y type colors pulled out and I'm going to do a blue liner with it I think just for just for the hell of it. Um, you guys will have already obviously seen the look in the thumbnail but future Carissa a girl, you did it. Um, so yeah, today's video is going to be a beauty babble. My chair keeps smacking into my desk on either side, so if you're wondering what the hell that is, let's get that out of the way. And I do have my fan on because it is like sweaty balls hot here. So yeah, let's jump into it. So I have been absolutely incredibly busy over the past couple of weeks. Um, I'm starting off with hourglass veil primer. Uh, I don't even know the words. Um, I've been crazy busy over the past couple of weeks. Like I just said, I have been with um, Glenn's band. They're recording um, their studio album. I was doing all the photography and a bunch of social media for them. So I was in studio with them and I also did some recording as background and group vocals, which was awesome. Totally out of my element, but I had a lot of fun. And um, we were doing like Basically when you have a studio you just have to use all the time that you have accordingly and so if you have a 24 hour period of time you're in there for like 16 to 18 hours per day which is insane so I was super busy doing that. Um, I'm using the Double Wear in 3N1 and my Beauty Blender to pop that on my face. Why do I say pop it on my face? I hate saying that. To put it on my face. To apply it on my face. Um, other than that, what have I been up to? I have been, I did two socialized shoots, which was absolutely mental. Um, I've never fully organized a photo shoot before and been like the person who is in charge. So that was a huge learning curve slash great experience for me. Um, I am so incredibly excited to launch a new range. It is launching at the end of this month, which I will definitely let you guys know. Um, I'm so excited. I've been working on it since since June. <laughs> so it's been a it's been a long time coming. Um, all the styles have been set, everything's coming, the stock is on its way, so I am just like peeing my pants excited to show you guys. I think I'm more excited about this launch of collection than I was even my original styles. These new styles are just like they're gonna blow you out of the water. You guys are gonna really, really like them. So yeah, I've been really excited about that. And I was blessed enough to be able to shoot with Ray Morris, which was like if those of you who don't know Ray Morris, she's like, she's a big deal. That's all I can say. Like, all the books I have back here, ooh, what did I press on my computer? All the books that I have back here are like all Ray Morris makeup books. She's like the god of makeup gods. She's fantastic. But um, I got to shoot with her, which was unbelievable. So she did all the makeup for our socialized shoot. I have some video of that that I'll end up putting together in some spare block of time that I find. And um, Neil Dixon did photography, and I shot with a bunch of amazing, fantastic models. I cannot wait to share that with you guys. And working on the website and working on... Uh, we have our North American um, warehouse. That's the word. Our warehouse is being set up. So um, all of the North American orders are going to be going out via that. And yeah, it's been... It's been overwhelmingly crazy busy the past couple of weeks making sure that everything's ready to go on time for for our launch. So that has been taking up a ton of my time. Um, I've also really been working on... <laughs> oh, how much of this can I tell you guys? I've been working on a really cool thing for a magazine, which is really exciting. You guys will know more about that in December. I'll share a lot of that. but. I did a really cool photo shoot in um, Coogee Beach and I posted a couple behind the scenes photos on my Instagram so if you're interested check that out. But yeah, it's been it's been a crazy couple of weeks and in amongst that I got like completely utterly sick. I thought that I had strep throat, turns out I didn't but it was like the worst thing. And what else? I had a bit of a personal thing. Um, a friend that I was really close with and I decided that we don't want to be friends anymore so that was really emotionally difficult on me the past little while so that's never fun but it's good to move on so that's a good thing um, I'm using Max Prep and Prime in Bright Forecast I always have trouble getting this lid off it's always slippery from my grody little foundation fingers using NARS Custard Concealer I'm running out of this which I'm freaking out because I don't think that the Mecca that is closest to me has it in stock do they actually do online stuff in Australia with Mecca? Let me know in the comments because I will order it online. Alright, so I'm going to zoom you guys in so we can do some eyes. 
I don't know why I'm so excited for eyes. Okay, hold on. Okay, so priming with Urban Decay Priming Potion. I always notice it in videos. I never hold things up for long enough. It is the strangest sensation when you honestly think that you're holding it long enough for someone to like actually look at it, read it, comprehend what it is in such like a small little screen too, and to have it in focus. I mean, it's a little bit difficult. I always go back to edit and I'm like, why did you wave it around? Nobody can see what it is. Ugh. If you guys ever have a problem with that in videos, or if I lapse back into doing that, just leave it as a comment down below, because sometimes I don't know what I'm thinking. So the first color I'm going to take isn't actually an eyeshadow, it's just one of the lighter colors in the Anastasia Beverly Hills kit, this one right here, and taking it onto a big shader brush. And I'm just going to press that kind of in between where my crease is and the top of my lid, just in that area, and all the way into the inner corner as well. It's just going to give me a little bit of a base so that um, my eyelid isn't tacky from the primer and also so it just blends a little bit better when I go to blend. Next I'm taking Makeup Geek Creme Brulee Eyeshadow and the Ray Morris Deluxe Point Shader Brush and I'm going to apply that into my crease. I think all the Makeup Geek shadows are like full on my favorite eyeshadows. They're just so pigmented, they blend really well, and I think that I reach for them more than any other product ever, as I'm sure you guys probably noticed in my videos. On a slightly smaller tapered bl blush brush, <laughs> I'm taking the Mocha color from Makeup Geek, and I'm going to... Nice train horn, jeez. I'm taking that onto the brush, and I'm going to apply that just into the outer portion of the crease. I'm going to make sure that um, I get the eyeshadow above where the crease is, but only just slightly, so that, say, when I look straight, it is just sitting right there, as opposed to drag down onto the lid and shade it kind of outwards. These are the softest brushes I think I've ever used on my eyes. Going back in with the bigger, fluffier one, I am just going to go over the edges, make sure everything is blended out and swooped outwards. Using this Chi Chi Baked Eyeshadow in Beautiful Day, I'm taking that onto my finger, and I'm going to pack that on to the lid space. Glenn keeps texting me. He is at a Bucks party today for one of his buddies in Sydney. And it is hilarious. Like, the photos that he's sending are just wonderful. I don't understand how the whole, like, walking around with, like, a blow-up doll thing started, but it's pretty funny. <laughs> is there any, like, traditional, um... Bucks or like hens party that you guys do, or I guess stag or stagette parties, whatever you call it, wherever you live in the world. Is there any like traditional things other than like penis cakes and badge cakes and things like that? Uh, I always love to know what the traditions are, it's pretty funny. What a strange thing. And like to think, only a hundred years ago, people like full on didn't show their ankles and shit like that. What is wrong with us? Uh, so strange. Going back into the Mocha color from Makeup Geek with the smaller brush, I again am just going to make sure that that darker color didn't get lost in all that sparkle. And again onto my finger, I am picking up Stila's Kitten. This is in comparison to, this is what we just used, and Kitten is a little bit more pale pink, a little bit brighter. What I'm going to do with that is pick it up on the very tip of my finger, and I'm just going to place that in the middle of my eye. So that is shadows done. I'm now taking the standout peacock, that's a strange name, the gel eyeliner from Sigma. It is like a deep navy blue. Just use anything that is a navy blue color. Like I always say, it really does not matter brand wise. If you're using the same brands as me, just try and get a similar color. You'll get a similar look. It's not going to be a problem. But anyway, taking that on to, if I can find it. Go. I'm taking the liner onto the Ray Morris Bent Liner Brush. I haven't used this before, so we'll see how it goes. It's a really small tip though, so it looks quite promising. I'm going to pick up some of that color, and I am going to start my wing. I really like the color of this, but I just don't like how you keep having to pick up product. I feel like the product doesn't really go that far, so you need quite a bit of it on your brush to make it go. Slow and steady wins the race. 
to add just a little bit more depth to the outer corner, I think that I'm going to add a little bit of black so that it just fades into that. Um, not so much that it's an ombre, but you know what I mean. Um, I'm going to use the black ink from Bobbi Brown. Next, I'm curling my lashes and applying some Jordana's Best Lash Extreme. Still probably my favorite mascara of all time. I seriously went off of buying the Dior stuff. You guys remember when I first started doing makeup tutorials for probably even the first year that I started doing them? That's like all I would ever use is the Dior Show Blackout. And I haven't purchased it for probably six months just because of this sucker. It's really good. I like it a lot. I'm not going to add a second coat just because I am trying a new style of lash and I'm not exactly sure how it'll look with two coats so I'm just going to stick with one. And that lash is actually an XO Beauty lash. I purchased one of Shannon's rings and I thought I would buy some lashes from her and some pretty ties. So check out Shannon's lashes if you haven't already. These ones are the Gold Digger and they look really pretty. So there is the tiniest bit of extra band on either side of the lashes so I'm just going to snip that so that it doesn't irritate my eyes. And I think that these will be fine size for my eyes. They seem like it. Let's double check. Yeah, those would be cool. And if I can find my glue. There you are. Alright, get some glue on these babies. Now that those are on, I'm taking Darkest Shadow from the makeup store. It's just a black pencil liner, and I'm going to line my waterline. And I'm using Max Fascinating as a white liner on my bottom waterline. Making sure to bring that all the way into the tear duct area. And instead of using black mascara on my bottom lashes, I'm actually going to use brown, and I'm using the Marcel Ultimate Lash Mascara. You can find it in Shoppers Drug Mart in Canada. It's really nice, like, natural-esque type mascara. I meant to grab the black, but I ended up grabbing the brown because apparently I didn't read the label. But I really do like it. kind of glad it's the only brown mascara that I have. And you're not really looking to do anything other than just slightly define. I don't want them to be long. I don't want them to be thick. I just want them to look like I, they're there, you know? For my brows, I am using the color blonde on the inner portion and the color taupe on the outer portion. And just using the tiniest bit of product because this goes a long way. From about here on back, I use taupe. I think that is about as even as they are gonna get today. <laughs> I'm gonna set that in with the clear brow gel by Anastasia as well. So apparently there's a choo-choo train. <laughs> so for the rest of the face, I'm gonna set it using the Mineralized Skin Finish in Natural from MAC and I am going to use the big fluffy brush from Sigma and just press that all over everywhere. It just gives me a little bit more coverage, which I am not sad about. I had, um, that's another thing I didn't tell you guys about. I started using um, a new skincare line. It is Aspect Doctor, that's what it's called. That and Skin Medica, and it's only available at like plastic surgeons slash dermatologists and places that are like medical places because it's a medical grade um, skincare line which I love because it has a ton of active ingredients. I got mine from the same person that did my lips slash my boobs. Uh, that is Dr. Dona in Sydney and uh, first of all, amazing doctor. Second of all, go get those products. You won't regret it. The first week it kind of makes your skin do a bit of a purge which is the leftover of what you're seeing. But after that, your skin feels amazing. Like the rest of my face is like better than a baby's butt. I definitely, definitely recommend you guys check it out. But I'm going to set my under eye area using, let's just stick with MAC. I'm gonna use the same product but in the light color and using 
this tapered highlighting brush from Sigma. And pressing that in and on. Um, my EOS program that I film with keeps freezing. <laughs> it's frozen on the most ridiculous face. Hold on, let me try and recreate it. This hand's here, this hand's here. That's what it kind of looks like, just for you guys. It's a really great face. I hope that it's still filming. That's the only thing that I get a little bit scared of, is that if it pauses, I'm not sure if it's still filming, because it says it's paused on a certain time frame. So fingers crossed, it is still actually actively recording. Next, I'm going to use my Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer in medium slash deep. I love this stuff. It smells like chocolate. So good. I'm using that onto a tulip brush again from Sigma. Pick up some generous amount of product and give her. I want to tell you guys something. I don't like. I don't do a lot of like beauty babbling while I'm doing my eyes because I'm like concentrating and shit. But while I'm doing my face, it's a lot easier. And I was trying to remind myself to talk to you guys about something. Yes. Um, my best friend is coming from Canada, and I'm like over the moon excited. I've had, like I said, a really tough month or two since coming back from Canada. I miss my friends, I miss my family. I was diagnosed by my doctor as situationally depressed, which you guys don't see because I do not film on bad days because I don't want to put that energy out to the universe, but I struggle a lot and it is the most exciting thing in the world to have someone from home come and visit me because it's very rare that any of, I don't think any of my friends have ever come over and visited me, so I am just like I'm so ecstatic, so happy. It is at the best time because I have had a tough month with friends and yeah, it couldn't come at a better time. So I'm just like, ah, Katie's coming. Um, we are going up kind of north, not too north, but like not as far as Brisbane, but like up north compared to where I am. And um, it's pretty exciting. Katie's boyfriend is a professional paintball player and he's playing in Sydney. Yes, that's actually like a professional sport thing. I didn't know, but it is. And um, he's lovely and we're all gonna go and travel in like a camper van slash tent. So I'm really excited. I'm gonna make sure to film quite a few videos so that I can go with them and not worry about filming. This week is my filming week because I'm feeling good. Um, Anastasia Contour Kit, picking up the taupey color. I've never used this color. I don't see what the use is. It's too warm for me. I can't contour with warm shades. It just doesn't look right. Anyways, using the NARS Eda brush. Renee, I still have your brush if you're watching this. Who am I kidding? I know you're watching this. I still have your brush. Um, sucking the cheeks. Add a little bit of contour. I have a zit in the most atrocious place. Actually, it's not even a zit anymore. It's like a dried up you guys don't even want to hear this. It was a zit. Let's leave it at that. Uh, what else is happening? My parents are coming to visit me in January, just after my birthday. And that is exciting as well. I think we're going to go more across Australia as well. So that should be fun. I think we might be headed to Adelaide. So if you live in Adelaide, Bradelaide, um, we might come and visit you, which would be amazing. I haven't ever been there and I really want to. Okay. Okay, blush color. I think I'm going to go with more of a cool tone. And that is going to be Benefits Hervana. It's kind of not too cool, but you know what I mean. Still cool enough that it's not going to be warm. I make no sense sometimes. Alright, just go with it. <laughs> I'm going to put that on to a Sigma Powder Blush Brush. I swirl all the colors together and do this stupid little smile. Lola has been really, really quiet the past hour. Lola! Can you hear? Here on the hardwood floor? I call her and I say meep and she knows to come. Hi Gail, come on! Come show everybody your face! So Lola got stung by a bee yesterday on her lip, which was atrocious because her entire face swole up and got lopsided and I was absolutely terrified that it would be in her throat and she would stop breathing. Horrible, not fun, but it is the day after. Come here baby, come, sh come show everybody. And the swelling kind of like 
it wasn't in her throat, it was on her neck afterwards, and it kind of like moved down, it looked like a little like turkey neck golf ball type deal. <laughs> now she has a lot of excess skin and it looks like she has a double chin. Hold on. Come here, baby. I know, I know, I know. Come here. But look at the camera, look straight here. Oh, you guys can't really see it. I'm gonna insert a photo of it this morning. It was just like, hi mom. <laughs> <laughs> and for such a small little dog, can you see it from the side, that little hanging bit? That's what it was, but it was like quadruple the size. Say hi to everybody. Say I learned a new trick. Can you tell them that? Lola learned how to do yoga dog. So basically it looks like downward dog, and it's amazing. Oh, that wasn't precious at all. You know, good girl. Aww. Do you guys have chihuahuas? If you do, please send me pictures. I love chihuahuas. I don't like dogs, but I like chihuahuas. That's exactly what I want. <laughs> you go back to sleep. I'm going to finish my tutorial, and then we'll go for a walk, okay? Okay? Okay. Here you go. Or you can stay in my lap if you want. Okay. Let's get this hairball out. Um, I finally picked up the other flavors of Ovi, by the way good stuff. Um, I still really like citrus the best, I think. The berry is really good. Um, I actually used it in my smoothie the other day. It worked really well. Bye, baby. <sighs> okay. I'm going to add a little bit more blush to my cheeks, because you guys can't... No, you can kind of see it. Just a little bit more for the sake of you guys seeing it better. Lips, as I'm licking them. Gross. Okay, so clean them off, and I am using Chi Chi It Girl Liner. I haven't used this for ages. It's one of my favorites, though. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> it's going to be the longest friggin' video. Sorry, guys. I guess some of you like it. Not all of you. Sorry, but I guess anybody who doesn't like it wouldn't still be here, so ta-ta. <laughs> Okay, on top of that, I'm using the Makeup Store's Baby Sheer. This melted, and it looks disgusting, but it still works. You can also use a bright lip with this look, but since I have such a loud play suit thing going on, I'm going to stick with um, what I'm doing with Nude. Apparently getting really excited with my overdrawing my lips. Let's tame that back a little bit. And for lip gloss, I'm taking Chanel in 65 Euphorique. I like to think that it says Euphreak instead. <laughs> okay, I do want a highlight, but only a little bit. I think I'm going to use um, Divergent Palette. Yeah, I remember this. Uh, Gleaming Pearl. That, that, that guy. God, my left and my right is so screwed up in my monitor, I always mess up. Okay. Ever so lightly. So this is the finished makeup look. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I don't think I've ever done anything with a colored liner before, so hopefully you liked it. Please do give it a thumbs up if you did. I would love to know what kind of videos you'd like to see on my channel. I definitely wanted to start doing some fashion videos because Glenn is now going to be out of school as of next week. So yeah, I have somebody to film for me again, and I have a ton of new things to show you clothes-wise. I am actually going to be putting up a haul, I think, either after this video or the one after, probably the one after this video. I'm confusing you. I'm putting up a haul showing you new stuff and that will be in lookbooks in the next couple of weeks. Yeah. Please, please, please come follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook so we can chat and talk and interact there. And that is everything from me. I hope you have a great day and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Mwah. Mm -hmm.